talking about the traditional design style. This is going to be a lasting look. It's classic, timeless. It's going to have furniture that has a historical influence to it. So think European decor from the 18th and 19th century. We're going to have detailed woodwork, ornate fabrics, and rich textures. I'm Nikki D, and I'm your go-to resource for design inspiration, furniture, and decor that's going to make your home look like you hired a designer, only you're going to do the work yourself. And trust me, you can do it. I'm fully confident in you. Once you have the understanding and the tools, you're going to do it like a pro. Before we start, make sure that you like and subscribe so that you get the bell notification for future videos that come out. And then also leave a comment below on anything else you'd like to learn about, any design styles or decorating tips, anything. Just leave a comment and that way I'll be able to cater towards your needs. Let's get into the video. This style here is a room that was designed. This is from Pottery Barn. So Pottery Barn is a great resource for traditional design style. You're going to see that it has simple clean lines as far as the lighting and the lampshades, the details of the chandelier. Our mirrors are going to maybe have a gold ornamental trim to it or just a simple thin gold line. We're going to have fireplaces. This image has a trunk that's like a vintage look that is great to use as a side table. We have a glass, simple coffee table. We have two armchairs. The thing to see about this space is that it's symmetrical, meaning that if we were to take a line and draw it right down the middle, it would be balanced on either side. So you'd see the same pieces on either side. And typically the fireplace is that focal point where the room is balanced off of. So I'll link below all of the different details to this room. And then also, as always, there is a blog post that refers to this design style. I'm scrolling up to the top. So the traditional style, and it has all of the links. It has all the information that we're going to cover and go through today. When it comes to traditional design, one of the key characteristics is going to be sturdy furniture. So this is going to be high quality furniture out of wood, out of leather. We're gonna have upholstery fabrics like velvet and linen. And the reason why the fabric for the most part is super durable is because it's timeless. So most people who design in the traditional design style are gonna keep this look for anywhere from seven to 15 years. And because the traditional style has core elements to it, it really, even if you do new traditional, which is a little bit more updated, it's still going to have a similar look where it has elevated fabrics, where it has the same similar kind of prints and patterns. You might have stripes or florals mixed in. It's going to have the same similar color palette and a cohesive look to it that's balanced. So this is something that's going to be able to be carried on. You might see this in your parents' home. You might see it in your grandparents' but traditional design also in a lot of furniture stores, you'll see this look. So one of the most important factors of traditional design is symmetry and balance. So I mentioned in the image of the design first, that if we have a fireplace and we're standing staring straight at that fireplace, if we were to take a line and draw it right down the middle, we're gonna be balanced on either side. So in this particular room, we have sofas on either side. We have the coffee table right in the middle. We have the mirror that's on the wall with the ornate gold detailing that draws our eye right in to that space. So the focal point is really going to be that fireplace with everything arranged around the fireplace. We may have bookshelves and ornate details. We might have molding in this design style. Crown molding is very popular. So that molding that's up at the top, which you'll see images of Roman shades, heavy drapery panels. And we'll go through some of the different looks in detail. So when it comes to the sofas and the seating, we may have rolled arms and button tufting. That's going to be very popular. So you can see here on this chair, we have a rolled sock arm. We have nail head trim. We have a wingback chair, classic patterns. We might have a stripe or leopard or animal print. 
we might have a more geometric monochromatic print that's kind of tone on tone. We have tight back seating. You might have a tight back sofa or a chair, which basically means that there's no cushion. So you can see it's just a tight back. And in English arm style, so this is another style. So the rolled sock arm, the uh, panel sock arm, which you see here, button tufting, very popular in this design style. Piping is gonna be popular, whether it's tonal and the same color, or if it's contrast, which I'll show you an image of that. Caster wheels on the bottom of the chairs that you see here, so caster feet, and mixing of patterns that are very timeless and classic. Bun feet is another look. So it's not going to have so much of the straight lines that you'll see in contemporary or modern homes, but you'll see more of the turned uh, legs and rounded silhouettes. When it comes to the coffee tables, we might have cabriole legs or claw feet, ball feet. The tops may have marble or ornate carvings to it, glass mixed with gold. We may have wood. Wood is very popular as well in traditional design. So think heavy, strong, sturdy wood. Like my mother loves quality wood. She's very traditional and sh her furniture is solid and it's through and through. And that's one of the core elements of the traditional design style. We're also, again, going to have the turn detailing, whether it's in the legs or the base of tables, very popular in this style. The other important factor is proportion and scale. So Symmet symmetry, so having the sofa, but having coffee tables or side tables that are in balance, not too big, not too small. It's not going to be super low profile. It's going to be the standard height for the most part. Remember, low profile is going to be more modern or contemporary look, but in our traditional, we're going to have more of that standard height. When it comes to details, we're going to have intricate carvings. We might have ornate molding, crown molding, molding details on the walls. We might have chair molding. The beams are also going to be something that you may see in traditional design. And again, most of the arms are gonna be rolled. If they're straight arms, they're going to have traditional fabrics to them that are classic and timeless. You can see even in this uh, glass side table, we have the curved scrolling details. That's going to be very popular. And then neutral walls are also very common in the traditional design style, whether it's cream or beige or gray as the backdrop. And then that's going to allow for the furniture to really shine and show and pop. So if we have our neutral sulfur and then we have blues, which is a popular color story, then you're really going to see the impact of those different patterns and textiles on the cream colored sofa. Another feature is rich accent colors. So think neutrals as your grounding backdrop and then pops of deep red or navy or emerald green. Here's an example of the contrasting piping. So having the fabric in your solid navy, but then contrasting it with the cream that ties back to the printed drapery panels, which are ornate and detailed to the classic prints, but notice the color story is different shades of blue. So creating that monochromatic color scheme. Having printed sofas is popular. So it might be a floral sofa. It might be a printed uh, leopard or animal pattern that we'll have in the traditional style. And those burgundy and rust colors, soft yellows, and mixing that with throw so that it has that cozy vibe to it, but it's very intentional and classic and timeless. Like this is something that you'll see now and you may see in 10 years from now. So earthy tones like cream and beige and brown are gonna be our foundation. And then deep hues like burgundy, navy, which we saw, forest green, that's gonna add richness and interest. So we might also have jewel tones, we have soft pastels, so we may have blush pink or mint green, light blue, and then we could also have muted blues and greens and touches of red are going to be popular in this style. 
One way to get a new or an updated look is also to have a little bit more of a bright color palette, which this rug almost could cross over to what is in the boho style, but it's that traditional oriental rug with a little bit more bright colors, but then we also tone it down with a lot of the browns and the charcoals and the navy that's in this space as well. Again, fireplace is the focal point. It creates warmth, ambiance. It is the center piece of the space. This is a great example of a traditional space that has the molding on the ceiling. It has the crown molding all around. It has the heavy drapery panels that have the thick tapestry fabric, and it has elements and moments. So this cute sitting seating corner here that has the chairs balanced on either side. Even here in the center piece, we have the seating arrangement around the fireplace, which is the focal point. And then we have accent chairs on either side of that. Another thing is having coffee tables that are uh, tufted in either leather or upholstery that doubles as seating. And if you put a tray on top of that, it adds another place to have a surface to put down a drink or a book. We are also going to have antiques and collectibles in the traditional style because again, it dates back many years. So think of first dibs or cherish, which I'll show you some images from there, but that's gonna be a great resource to add in those antiques or collectibles. So you might have curio cabinets or secretary desks. You might have a piano, a grandfather clock. These are all gonna be different elements that you might bring in to add that personal touch and a sense of history. So it might be something that's passed down literally from your grandmother or your mother or something that's been in the family for years that you're incorporating into this traditional space. Rugs are also important because they're going to add color, pattern, and texture. The important thing when designing is to pull a piece that you can use to ground the space and become the jumping off point. So for example, in this room, the rug is the jumping off point. It has all the colors that are then balanced out. We have our neutral sofas and then the cranberries picked up from that rug and it's in our velvet chairs and our ottomans. And even in this space, we have two ottomans, we have two chairs, we have two sofas. So it's all very balanced and intentional. We have general lighting, we have task lighting in our table lamps. We might have accent lighting in sconces. Those are all different features that are gonna add character ambiance and set the tone for our spaces. And then putting them on dimmer switches will even enhance it even further and set the mood. Again, our lighting, we're gonna have chandeliers, we might have pendants, table lamps, sconces. We might have fireplace lighting, so sconces or an overhead light. On over above the fireplace, we might have dimmers, candlelight, you can see the candles just creating that atmosphere and that ambiance of the traditional space, having that candelabra with the iron work and the scrolling detail on the chandelier, and then artwork really creating that color palette and pulling out the elements, mixing the oriental rug with stripes, with tapestry patterns that are either in a dream metric but soft monochromatic, nothing super bright or over the top. Our artwork and our wall decor, we may have landscapes, portraits, still lifes, botanicals, we might have family portraits, or think of it like a gallery wall that you might have that have like your grandparents or your parents or just like family pieces, vintage finds. So you might have a gallery wall that mixes all different styles of vintage frames, for example. Having antique maps is another uh, type of artwork that you'll see in traditional spaces, and then mirrors as well. Going on to the different fabric types, we may have velvet, linen, chenille, leather, silk curtains, again, for that touch of elegance and sophistication, damask pillows, throw blankets, wool and cotton are all going to be fabrics in this design style. When it comes to the wood for our furniture, we may have mahogany, Walnut, cherry, carved details, and then turned legs are going to be very classic. Our flooring is going to be classic, typically wood floor. 
in oak or mahogany, cherry, we might have parquet, we might have that herringbone pattern. Those are all traditional elements. And the thing to remember is when you keep your core foundational elements traditional and timeless, you can always update the look, but it's very expensive if you want to change out the floors or change out your surrounds on your fireplace or your tile. So just keep that in mind as you're designing spaces. Then we may have marble or travertine or slate on the floors as well if somebody didn't want to go in the wood direction. I mentioned this already, but for the wood treat, the window treatments, we're going to have maybe Roman shades, rich heavy drapes, sheer panels, and then floral patterns. That is an overview of the traditional style. What I wanted to give you now is just a quick resource. If you go to Pinterest and you type in traditional design style or traditional living room, there'll be a ton of great resources that you can look to get inspiration. And you'll see that there's a balance of the lighting and having the lamps on either side of the sofa, having the mirror in the background. Also, I wanted to share that Cherish for antiques, great place to shop for rugs. They, it can be on the pricier side, but you may find some sides, uh, some finds also. Going to antique uh, sales or garage sales is a great uh, place to also find goods. And then First Dibs is another great resource that has classic, timeless, vintage pieces to add. And when it comes to shopping current, you may want to shop at Bolliard, Bolliard Designs, at um, Burke Lane, which is a division of Wayfair, but it's more of their traditional look. Pottery Barn is another great resource. And then I just wanted to also point out that if you're designing and your home is traditional, there are certain elements that you can update to make it look modern or contemporary. So for example, in my own home, I have grass cloth wallpaper, which is something, a detail that is popular in the traditional design style, wallpaper in general. So I have grass cloth wallpaper, but obviously the rest of the room is more contemporary. In our living room space, we have a traditional fireplace that has the molding details and everything, but the wall is painted black, which makes it more modern. We have more modern contemporary furniture. So just because your elements, we have the hardwood floor as well, just because your elements are traditional as your core foundation, it doesn't mean that your space, your furniture pieces have to be traditional. You can still update that look with contemporary modern furniture. So just wanted to point that out again. That is the traditional design style. Be sure to like the video and subscribe so that you get notifications in the future. And then I'm gonna link over there the other uh, videos with the design style. So if you wanna look at another one and then be sure to come back for future posts and happy designing. Have a great day.